the little four horse Tecumseh has uh, met its demise because the original starter broke, which was, you know, quite disappointing being that the engine was practically new. So, you know, this is going to be next to impossible to find. Put the pulley on it. I've been wrapping a rope around it, trying to start it. But now I realize something else is wrong with it as well, which is probably why that thing broke. I'll just turn it by hand and you can see, oh, that is like, I don't know if that's just compression, like that is hurting my hand to turn it. And there we go. So my thoughts are either the compression release internal to the camshaft has uh, broken or something's happened to it and it's not working or the engine is actually starting to seize up or something's binding because like I can pull it with this this rope I wrap it around and pull it and it is like it, it's it's the engines not free at all there's something something's causing it to to bog down I think this is my best option at the moment unfortunately it's not not the most desirable little engine but uh, you know, it might just uh, do what we need. And like, after all, this is just a little rat rod. So, you know, the engine does look kind of ratty. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. But, uh, well, anyway, I have a few things I'll have to look over on this. And the tank is a little bit dirty. So I'm going to throw some, um, what do you call it? Rust, uh, rust cleaner stuff in there. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pour it in, but then I'll pour it out and just sort of leave a film in there and let it do its thing for a few hours and then uh yeah hopefully maybe we can get it bolted on here and we'll try again <laughs> that's all we can do right i think this is going to be what i'll go with next thing i got to do is get the pulley off this one and somehow adapt it to this one i think they're i think it's just not going to work <laughs> So I've just been monkeying around with the new engine for the little lawn tractor. So this is the four and a half horse Briggs and Stratton that's going on it. I figured I gotta get a pulley on it. And so I had to cut the old adapter off and I welded a new one on. I had to make up a little bushing inside to take up some of the slack and I had to find the right bolt. There's a little keyway in there too, but should all be good. Uh, I think I've got it at the right height supposed to be three and a half inches from the bottom of the engine. There we go. Not too shabby. This engine had a fixed throttle on it. And so I put this throttle control on uh, just from a parts engine I had. So I might have to play around with it to actually uh, get it to work properly, but Anyways, we'll find out if we're going to get anything at all in a second. Okay, so we got that little Briggs motor in. And I'm going to pour some gas in it. And we'll see what it can do. Okay. Oh, these things are giving me a hard time this year for some reason. <laughs> All right, well, guess I'll fix this. Okay, pull cord fixed. Take two. Just off some prime in the carb. So 
Then I'll put a bit of gas in the tank and see if we can get it to run off its own fuel supply. kind of rough uh, <clears throat> and also a lot of oil coming out uh, of the piston uh, out of the exhaust from the cylinder so I guess from years that it was stored away uh, oil got into the cylinder not a big deal maybe once it runs some more it'll uh, start to clear up and run better I'm gonna bank on that for now okay so today one of the last things I have to do I've made up this little bracket and it's going to bolt up there on one of the engine bolts and hopefully it'll help keep it from trying to throw the belt off. So we'll get that on and then we'll see if this thing wants to run. Okay, so that little belt pulley guard thing is on. The engine is running. That's the Briggs and Stratton I put into it. Throttle's hooked up. Uh, got some gas. So, without further ado, let's drop it down off the lift. course all ready to go everything seemed perfect yeah it threw the belt off I don't know why it's doing that hmm so it's not throwing it off at the front <sighs> all right let's uh, let's take a look at that okay so I just cut some pins and tacked them up Right there, one on each side to hopefully prevent the belt from coming off off of the back pulley. So now let's see if we can take this thing for a little ride.
Well, that was a failure. So, what I think is I've got it geared a bit too high. You saw when I had it up on the jack, uh, just letting the wheel spin, it was, wasn't really spinning that fast, but maybe for whatever that is, a three or four horse engine, maybe that's too much. It actually will drive in here on dry pavement, but it's like as soon as I get into that heavy snow, it just wants to die. So I put a slightly bigger pulley on the engine and a slightly smaller one on the transmission. I wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference. Uh, like, I mean, I thought it would have just sped it up a little, but not to the point that it would kill the engine. Also, some carnage. My brake pedal bolt undid itself. It fell out, and it bent the linkage all to everything, so that's got to be redone. Well, there she is. So, until next time, thanks for watching.